Hey, what is up everybody? It is AJ here and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about a really exciting announcement by Microsoft, Microsoft Copilot. It seems like we are moving really fast in this next generation of artificial intelligence and productive AI. And Microsoft Copilot is the next iteration of that in Microsoft's productivity tool of the M365 suite. Only a few months ago, Microsoft invested over $10 billion into ChatGPT and OpenAI's AI platform, and we're starting to see the benefits of that already with Microsoft Copilot being announced yesterday. So what exactly is Microsoft Copilot and how does it differ from OpenAI's ChatGTP? Well, Microsoft Copilot isn't just ChatGPT integrated into M365, it's actually so much more than that. It has its foundation on three essential pillars, the first one being the Microsoft 365 productivity suite, so think Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and more. It then has a use of the thing called the Microsoft Graph, which is essentially all that metadata that you store every day. It's your emails, it's your files, it's your chat, it's your calendar, all that sort of stuff that goes into the Microsoft Graph to really build out who you are as a profile and an employee. And then of course it uses a large language model, which is essentially like a chat GPT, where it converts all this data and information into human readable and human understandable text and it allows it to have that natural dialogue where you can ask it a question and it understands and it gives you a response back in your native language instead of giving back a computer-based response. So how exactly does Microsoft Copilot work? Well, it starts off with a prompt from a user. In this example, it's a Word document where you ask the Microsoft Copilot to draft you up a two-page response using particular documents such as another report and maybe an Excel file. It then uses the Microsoft Graph to go get other information, not just from those two files, but everything else to give more context to the answer it's gonna give you. Then it gets that information, it sends it over to that uh, language model. That language model then processes all the information from those two sources, the question you've asked it, as well as the information it gets from the Microsoft Graph, and then it gives you an answer back in that Word document. So really it's asking it a question, then it goes and does all this processing, getting all these sources and bits of information, using that language model to then give you a response back that you understand, it's cohesive, and it's honestly, it will be an amazing first draft. I see this as an amazing way of getting rid of writer's block because you can ask it a question and get you started, and it's also gonna let you get rid of a lot of those mundane but important tasks, like taking meeting notes and just getting things generated to start with. It won't replace the way you currently work, but it will speed things up dramatically for you. With the increased popularity and use of AI, a lot of people are asking, and rightly so, are these technologies safe? And is Microsoft Copilot safe? Microsoft Copilot is an extension of and a feature within Microsoft 365, so it already has the security features, the governance, the policies that are in M365, and they're naturally gonna be inherited into Microsoft Copilot. So there is no extra worries or fees using Microsoft Copilot, as it is using Microsoft Outlook, OneNote, or Word. So for admins, IT directors, and companies out there, should you be worried about using Microsoft Copilot in your organization? Microsoft Copilot is gonna be just as safe as using any other Microsoft productivity tool because it's integrated in, into M365. I'm sure a lot of you are asking by now, how can you get started with Microsoft Copilot? Well, at the time of making this video, Microsoft Copilot was just announced yesterday, and they have very tight reign on who can actually access Microsoft Copilot at the moment. They have 20 companies worldwide that are testing Microsoft Copilot, and eight of those being Fortune 500 companies. So if you wanted to go and download it right now or integrate it into, say, your Office beta channel, you can't. But over the next weeks and months, we're gonna see this deployed to more people through beta channels and testing, and eventually it's gonna find its way into your Microsoft 365 as just a regular feature as part of your M365. I'm really excited about this new wave of productivity tools in the Microsoft 365 suite, and I'm really keen to try it out for myself. Let me know what you think about Microsoft Copilot in the comment section down below. And of course, if you wanna see more videos when Microsoft Copilot is available, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.